everybody, I'm Gabi and this is Gabi Tech. In today's video I'm gonna show you a quick guide how to calibrate the best possible way your AOC ultra wide gaming monitor. I will show you my settings and you will say for yourself do you like it or not. So let's go ahead. We're opening the menu. Here you see luminance. In the luminance we, see, we set the contrast on 50, brightness on 100, echo mode on standard, gamma mode gamma 3, rest are no, rest are off. Then we're going to the color setup. We have a color temperature user, DCB mode off, DCB demo off, red on 34, green on 34 and blue on 50. Then we're going to picture boost. This tab will activate if you don't use game mode. We have the bright frame on off, the frame size on 14, brightness on 35. Then we're going to the OC setup, timeout on 10, DP capability 1.2, H position 50, V position 0, volume 100, transparency 25, break reminder off, frame counter off. But there is actually nothing that you can change here. On game settings, big reminder, do not activate gaming mode. Shadow control on 50, leave it on 50. If you have the game mode on, you will put the low input lag on on also. The shadow control on 50, game color on 12, low blue mode off, overdrive media, adaptive sync on. If you have NVIDIA graphics card, you can enable more settings on the operating system. The adaptive things work really good with G-Sync compatibility in the end panel. You can adjust the NVIDIA desktop color settings, digital vibrance and more stuff that you can set up with the G-Sync and G-Sync compatible stuff. Enable for window the full screen mode, I'll put all of this stuff into the description of this video. So you would know that you will have the best possible result both with your monitor and your graphics card. I hope you enjoyed this small little guide from me. I really searched to do it the best possible way. Like this video and tell me in the comment section what do you think. Thank you very much for being with me. Subscribe to my channel.